Coming from 12, but we're going to go to 11, so we, we want to try to isolate that leg and cancel it and put a knee check in. At the same time, the other hand is going to be an extended outward block or a left outward check, and they're both going to hit together. Now, we could call this the first hand sword, the next one another hand sword, the other one's a heel palm, which is most commonly used. Now, we do that in a school so that we don't poke each other in the eye, but out in the street, it goes hand sword, hand sword, okay, a hand sword or a spear hand, but it's still part of the sword, okay? And then the third or fourth one would be to the solar plexus. As you pivot out of your forward bow into your neutral, you'd go to the solar plexus like this. Now, most students are not going to take the time to develop their fingers to hit somebody hard enough without breaking their fingers. Okay, that's a whole other art in itself. So we supplement the eye poke with a heel palm, the uppercut, or with a vertical hand sword with a right uppercut. Okay, then we move on, and I'll show where we're gonna go from there. So it gives you an idea where the, the name of the technique came from. All right, first move, the punch comes. All right, bam, we paralyze the arm, go to the side of the neck. That's the second hand sword. Also, you notice when I came in, I really went after that knee immediately. I dropped into the knee as I blocked, okay? So it's multidimensional striking here and here and here. I use this as a strike. I don't just check that as he swings, boom, I hit one, up, then I go to the heel palm, up, bend him over now. Then I go to a, a right forward bow, and this is a short chop. And you notice I'm tracking down my arm here. As I hit the left side of his neck, I start to bring him around into position as this right arm circles it drops in and makes a final chop at this point. From here, bam, down the side of the back of the neck. Okay, watch from this angle. Punch comes, heel pump, up, uppercut, down. Then I drop in for the last shot. And you'll notice here the bottom hand checks. Now what I'm doing so I don't hurt.